So I had a thought a couple weeks ago after the success of Dumb Shit Film Review number two. A lot of people do model train reviews. A lot of people do those. I was thinking how I could apply that to the Renting Relevant channel because it's more of a like a comedic kind of joke video kind of channel. How can I do a model train review that's funny? So I had a I had a thought. I got an ad while I was watching YouTube for Team U. Team U is basically the Chinese Amazon Craigslist. It's the Chinese off-brand version of an online marketplace. They sell a lot of shit for free. It's shitty Chinese plastic, and th that should be foreshadowing for what's going to happen. And I figured it'd be a fantastic idea to order a model train off Team U. <laughs> and this video is how that went. All right, so first things first, we got to figure out what train to get so i'm just gonna type in model train on team you and just see what comes up all right all right quite the selection nice uh 33 dollars for a metal train i don't know about that one i'm gonna have to go with something else uh because i don't know if i want to spend 33 dollars on this piece of shit i think i'm gonna look for something a lot cheaper uh 16 dollars that won't break the bank let's uh let's take a look at that all right so it looks like it's a steam locomotive a loop of track and uh let's see some of these amazing reviews it's a christmas gift how the hell do you know it's four stars if it's a Christmas gift? You haven't opened the damn thing yet. Alrighty, yeah, I think I'll just get this one. We'll break the bank and it should get the job done, so I'll uh, see you in a bit when it gets here. Nick Manet. So I was unironically trying to get my box cutter to go, you know, cut the box, but um, there's already a very large rip, so I think I'm just gonna. This unwrapping took an unreasonable amount of time because whichever asshole packed this up, that, yeah, rubber packaging's a good idea. No, no, it isn't. Dang, fuck that stuff. Oh my god. Getting the trashy piece of it. Alright, so first thoughts on the actual box. It's a little busted. Can't even lie, it's a little busted. It's in black and white, I guess. Yeah, this packaging is, like, really not very good, is it? But we're not here for the quality of the box. We're here for what's inside. So let's open up and see what's inside. Now let's get to actually opening the box. It's pretty normal tape on the edge here. Just a little cut. That should be good to come up, which it does. Let's see what we got. Oh, shit. This is actually a lot. It's actually upside down. Let me fix that. And here we have the train. So uh, we got this. Great that it's letting you know that it's a, it's a fucking train. Here we have the tender, which I'm assuming just hooks up like this. Yeah, that's how that's how that works. It lets you know there's coal in it. That's that's so nice of them. And here we have just a random train car. It seems like piece of shit plastic be expected a little bit and then we have i'm guessing this is like the equivalent of a brake van like one of those european brake vans I'm, I'm guessing anyway yes it's obviously a brake van you freaking moron anyway so far it seems that train is staying together you can't really see blue mark or anything of that sort and it is definitely a lot bigger than i expected for 16 dollars tractor held back by a single piece of tape Okay, we'll just rip that off. Yeah, beautiful. Here's a curved piece. Oh, do you like clip it together like this? How the fuck did that side's clipped? That side's clipped. Oh, I see. Okay. So now these two curves are clipped together. Let me put these straight pieces at bottom here. We got four of them, it seems like. Oh, goodness. Why did I buy this? So it turns out our lovely locomotive here, instead of being plugged into a wall like a typical model train, it has batteries. In this case, it accepts four AA batteries, which power the movement of the train. But it also powers the the low-quality speaker inside it to make the bell whistle sounds and all that other shit. As I put the train on the tracks here, I would like you to question yourself. What would you do with $16? Would you invest in the stock market? Give it to a friend? Give it to a homeless man? Me? My dumbass, I bought a fucking team you train. What am I doing with my life? Just flip it, you should start knowing. Oh shit. Oh, 
you piece of shit. Look without your cars, you dumbass. Oh shit, we're gonna have to go around it. Okay, this time I'm gonna fucking keep it upright. There we go. So now I should flip this button. And off this bro goes. Absolute DCC and sound masterpiece. We're gonna see how the railway train, as they like to call it, I, I just have to zoom in on this piece of shit. We're gonna see how the railway train handles bad track. Let's give her a go. Alright, so off, off they go. Jeez, that is truly terrible. Well, let's see what happens here. Wow. That was like... So the derailment test was a failure, I could not kill this piece of machinery, and it is still actually sitting in my room, perfectly functional with perfectly good AA batteries in it, I probably should take those out. But anyway, for what it is, for $16, a loop of track, a locomotive, and a couple cars, even if it's, you know, cheap Chinese plastic and it's a bit of a piece of shit, can you really ask for more for the price point? Because twenty dollars if you go to a nor a typical model train show you can probably get a single piece of rolling stock i mean if you're looking for quality if you're looking for pieces of shit um like really old like say an atherin blue box like a really old model for a couple bucks if you find the right vendor but on average if you're looking for quality stuff you're going to be paying you know t upwards of ten dollars per uh, piece of rolling stock so Overall, you know, $16 for a locomotive and a train set. I mean, when if you're a, like a poor grandparent living off like a 401k and you, your grandkid likes trains, I mean, fuck it, you know? It's hard to go wrong when you like, you know, everything works out of the box, even if the box was in shitty shape and all that. But for the price point, I mean, I can't really knock it that much. And that's the major thing with model railroading and it, it hurts the it hurts your wallet, I would know I spend a lot of money on model trains. <laughs> Although there is one thing I've yet to test.